Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on part two of our Blood Angels uh, tutorial here. And we're going to be working a little bit on uh, heraldry and decals and alternate colors and things like that. So um, let's just take a few minutes and take a look at what we've done here. Now, um, with the coming of Gilmon, um, I've decided to make all the Primaris guys, who are essentially kind of the new old uh, in, in the Warhammer universe, um, I decided to have them kind of take on some of the pre-heresy paint schemes that are, that are kicking out there. Now, with the Blood Angels, um, I've got a little bit of a different scheme personally, uh, but I thought I'd put this out for for a lot of people who actually kind of requested the, the the blood angels layout here and i'm going to just kind of follow up a similar type of thing as i did with the ultramarines here now any of the command guys are going to have a vertical stripe that's going to take up a third of the pauldron uh, and then we're going to alternate between four other schemes uh, a solid lighter color a uh, solid uh, like a, in this case it would be the red color and then I'm going to go with quartering and then in the inverse of that same quartering pattern. So these five different things is what I would apply to our uh, Blood Angel here. However, uh, with him, I'm just going to use a quartering as an example uh, and then we'll put the decals on and all of that. So let me clear all these guys away and we'll start working on this iconography. Okay, so starting with our uh, Blood Angel here, um, our Intercessor Marine, uh, all we're going to do is use our uh, Micron pen. This is a regular art pen that you get from any art store, basically. And I'm just going to use this uh, pen, and I'm just going to sketch out the quartering uh, for uh, the pauldron. So I'm going to start about halfway, and then just kind of gently sketch my way down. Now I'm going to be painting over top of this, so if I need to evolve it a bit, I can. Uh, so I'll put this in line with the pauldron here, and I'll put it in line with the pauldron here. And if it's not perfect, it'll be all right. So I'm basically just trying to equal that line at the bottom and get the quartering that way. So I'll do that on both sides. So again, not absolutely perfect, but again, as we get the color in there, we'll make that work. So for an accent color, I want to use this kind of uh, muted mustard yellow, uh, and Averland Sunset is the perfect basis for that color. Uh, so uh, the other nice thing is it's a base paint, of course, so uh, it's great because it'll go right over the red uh, without much issue. So uh, what I'm going to do, let's give it a good shake here, and I'm going to take this Averland Sunset and I'm just going to go in here and uh, just kind of paint inside of the lines uh, for our pauldron here. So just take your time, get that color down and I can always go back in and touch up with that Micron pen after. Now it's going to go on a little bit uh, pasty. It's a nice base paint, so you get lots and lots of pigment in there. Uh, but I'm just going to make sure that I've got two kind of thinnish coats uh, for that. And then I'll just echo it on the other side of our Space Marine here. Okay, so I've gone back and forth between uh, Mephiston Red and Averland Sunset. And you'll see that it is not entirely perfect. And this is very much an iterative process. You keep kind of working your way through. Um, this line again is a little bit off. I might fix that again. But essentially we're going to take our um, our Micron pen again and we're just going to just reestablish those lines. And sometimes if the line has a little bit of a thickness to it, um, it'll actually work all right. Uh, so I will run this across here. And you can see it looks kind of pinwheely, but once you get the lines in, it evens everything out a little bit here. And I'll also do the outside edge as well, just to restore that kind of unity of line in the backdrop here. Okay, so with restoring a little bit of that line, uh, I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of the base colors here and just tidy it up even a little bit more. And again, just keep iterating through, keep your coats thin, and you get a nice steady line throughout the whole process. 
Okay, so we're essentially good with our dude here. Um, I'm really liking that kind of mustardy yellow, uh, and it's uh, it's a really nice kind of color set. Again, it is brighter than just that straight red for sure, so it'll you know kind of shine out on the table a little bit more. But uh, you know, having the different iconography on each of the Marines will be pretty uh, pretty cool to add a bit of diversity and less kind of sameness. So now we're going to move on to the decals. Now. Um, the decals that I'm going to use are going to be, so we can get the focus in here, doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, I'm actually going to use a couple things. On the knee pad, uh, on the squad markings from the Blood Angel part of the Primaris kit here, I'm going to use the little lightning bolts for the, the squad markings. Um, on his hip, uh, over here on the hip plate, uh, just right, uh, just right here. Uh, I'm going to use the uh, campaign badges here. Uh, obviously, I'll have the uh, the Blood Angels icon on the shoulder, and that'll be in black against that, so it'll work out pretty well. On the back of the backpack, on that little kind of uh, the reactor part of the pack there, I'm going to use the small uh, Blood Angel symbol, so that'll be easy peasy. And then on the left, or sorry, I guess, uh, you know, his right pauldron, uh, I'm going to do two things. I'm actually going to borrow from the Dark Angels one here, uh, one of the numbers, uh, maybe the two, maybe the ten, not sure. I think the ten might be kind of cool. You don't see many of those in there. Uh, so I'll pull those uh, and I'll put it on the, uh, the, on the shoulder pad right here. And then... Um, I'll have the company markings, this kind of uh, yellowy teardrop, this golden teardrop. I'm going to put that uh, right here uh, between the two. So we'll have to see how that uh, how that goes. Now, failing that, if it's not exactly what I'm looking for, I mean, I can outline it or whatever, I might just steal one of the skulls uh, from right here and put that in there as well. Actually, you know what? Changed my mind completely. I'm going to do the skull and the number on the two red portions of the pauldron right here. Uh, it'll be a nice contrast, to let the yellow kind of speak for itself because we're going to be burying uh, most of this in the Blood Angels logo or icon or what have you. So a bunch of, lo uh, a bunch of uh, <laughs> logos, a bunch of decals to put on and um, I'll get on that. Now, I did a full on uh, like, you know, 25 minute video on how to apply these decals and I use the Vallejo decal system and um, I've got to get some Microsol and Microset to give it a try. But for now, I'm just going to use that, um, the, the so far tried and tested uh, Vallejo decal system here or however you want to put them on. But uh, I'm going to get them on now and then I'll be, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so we got the decals all sorted out now and uh, really liking the way it came together. If you're looking for information on how to put decals together, I did a huge uh, kind of tutorial on the Vallejo decal system and you'll see it. Uh, actually, I'll put it in the end card and then you'll make sure that you find it. Now, the decals themselves for the choices, um, I love the kind of the intensity of the white against the, the red or the that kind of you know, kind of mustardy yellow, goldy yellow. And of course, the black ties everything in together as well. The campaign badge is, is really cool. And of course, the squad markings are, you know, just a huge pop against that black knee pad there. So yeah, really happy with the way it's coming together. Oh, also, there's that little tiny blood angel symbol on the back, just that nice tiny little detail. All right, so uh, next thing I'm going to work on here is going to be uh, probably the last thing on the model, actually, and it's going to be this purity seal here. And for that, I'm going to use my Micron pen again. And um, yeah, I love these things. Um, I had a question come up as to where to find uh, the Micron pens. Um, you know, any of the kind of stationary stores might carry them. Uh, lots of craft stores. I know Michael's here. Uh, carries them, but uh, also any of the art supply stores. Um, if you just kind of Google up your local art supply store, you'll probably be able to find them. Uh, they're fantastic, but um, any kind of archival ink, uh, you know, really fine tip art pen would do the trick, but Micron's pretty much everywhere. Okay, so for the purity seal now, uh, I'm just going to kind of mimic uh, kind of a scripty writing. And so I'm just going to start with this, uh, you know, just kind of, you know, you know, hi there, and I pretend that I'm writing something so that I break up the lines uh, just a little bit. So, hi there, uh, how are you? I am well. Okay, and just go through and make sure that you got just those little kind of squiggly lines, but it looks like, you know, scripty writing from, uh, from a distance. 
And I think that pretty much tides, uh, tidies him up and gets him all finished. Um, really liking the model itself. Uh, obviously, I love the Primaris Marines. Uh, they're kind of made to paint and, and, and illustrate and highlight with. And, you know, big plates, lots of surface area for decals and all that. And um, I really like, uh, you know, just the kind of the aesthetic and just kind of the feel of them overall. The animation is really cool. And with the Blood Angels guys having that kind of dark, brooding... Um, you know, kind of a, a, a like with the black rage and you know, all this other stuff. Like, I mean, it's 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 is really kind of dark. Uh, you know, kind of backdrop to, backdrop to them. So it's it's nice to see this this really kind of darker uh, scheme still come together. But we make sure that you keep popping in lots of brightness um, to kind of bring up the model so it doesn't get lost. Uh, kind of the muddiness of the table. And that is it for this video. Um, well, I hope it was a value, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, it was awesome putting this one together. Uh, I love the Blood Angels. I mean, painting red always looks just so awesome and strong. So really, really digging it. But uh, if you liked the video, please hit that like button. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button as well. Uh, you'll get notifications of all of our future videos. And just want to say thanks a lot for watching again. And we'll catch you in the next video.